is just as simple. On the BBR motor ready frame, you'll want to attach the chain pulley right below the rear caliper brakes. Make sure that there is a solid connection between the pulley and the chain. Then secure the arm in place with nuts and bolts. We'll take the straight tab and bend it into a U. This part will fit onto the bike frame and provide a connection point for your spring. For an extra bit of connection, I cut off a small section of plastic tubing and place it in between the metal tab and the bike frame. This will help keep the metal tab in place and prevent it from scratching the paint. After attach the spring to the metal tab with the provided nuts and bolts. For the final step, just attach the other end of the spring to the arm of the pulley and that should provide you with plenty of chain tension. The other chain tensioner we will be looking at is the BBR Tuning Billet Springer Chain Tensioner. This part works basically the same way as the spring idler, but instead of connecting to the frame, it connects inside of your sprocket case cover. Installation of this part will require you to take off the sprocket case cover, remove the bucking bar and add in the provided ball bearing, then place back the bucking bar. Your chain tensioner will then go between the engine and the case cover. Use the provided bolts to secure everything in place. The longest bolt will go into the top right hole. Afterwards, fit the sprocket onto the underside of your chain and you're ready to ride. A great modification for this part is to replace the sprocket with a pulley. This mod gives your tensioner a little more leeway to move around on your chain without falling off. While